You know, the new TMF boss filter has been out now for a little while, and we've had many people who are writing raving reviews about the units. However, we're getting some feedback where some people do not understand how to either set it up or figure out what's the best configuration for their truck. And you know, it's really important to get it just right. Why do I say that? Because you want to maximize your vacuum efficiency, your lift, your CFMs, all your airflow. You want the maximum amount so you can get the carpets dry as fast as possible and get the full benefit out of the unit. All right, now there's three different ways to set it up. Let's take a look. Okay, let's now go through the three configurations. Number one is what I call forward to the door, or basically you can run dual wand. So you have two two-inch ports in the back, and you have two two-inch ports in the front. Now if you just want to run a single wand, that's fine. Just pick yourself up a PVC cap in the plumbing section of any big box hardware store and throw it right there. If you don't want to run forward to the door, go ahead now and you can just take, put a PVC cap back here. You run a two inch, two inch, right into the home. Good to go. Or forward to the door to maximize your vacuum. I'm a big believer in four to the door, and I'll explain that a little bit further when we go out and do a demo. The second setup is, you're going to notice in the back, it has a two and a half inch port. Now you can run two and a half inches all the way to the front here. You can block this side off too if you want to, and you can run two inch here and a two and a half inch to the back. It's what I call two and a half inch to the door. The two and a half inch to the door and the four to the door are going to maximize your vacuum and make a huge difference. Why is that? It's like moving the blower to the front porch. And I'm going to explain that in a demo in just a second. Last but not least, we also have a third setup. This third setup right here is two and a half inches in the back, two and a half inches in the front. It's very seldom somebody wants that, so we don't stock them very often, but we are going to start carrying them completely in stock in the next week or two. So feel free to uh, add that to your cart if that's something you want. All right, now let's go out to the van and do a live demo. Okay, like I said, you have three different configurations. One is you're basically just going to take a little short cheater hose, put it down on the ground there, hook it up to the back, hook it up to the front, put your cap on, go inside and start cleaning. The second way, which is one of my favorite ways, is forward of the door, where you're running two two-inch hoses all the way up to the filter on the front door. That's 50 feet. That's, that's 50 foot on each side, and basically what that does gives you four inches to the door, and that gives you a tremendous amount of vacuum, CFMs, and airflow. And I'll tell you what, it's like taking the blower, putting it on the front steps, you go in and clean, you're gonna get some serious good dry times and you can really clean efficiently. Other people prefer to have a two and a half inch hose. The disadvantage of two and a half inch hose, and it has a lot of advantages, you don't have to carry as much hose, but sometimes it's difficult to store this. And some, some guys just wrap it up, put it on a string, hang it in the back of the truck. So you can run two and a half inch to the filter up there, hooking it to the back of the two and a half inch port, and then going inside with two inches to start cleaning. Again, you move the blower to the front ports, this way you are maximizing your airflow, your CFMs, your lift, you're getting the fastest dry times, so you're getting the best clean, and I want to tell you what, it makes a huge difference. You'll be very impressed because you maximize the performance out of your truck mount. However, not all truck mounts are set up with the right configurations. Sometimes you have to do a little modification. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, even though all vans are configured to go ahead and run two inch, to two inch all the way to the door, which is no problem. Not all of them have the proper modifications on them to be able to have four to the door or to have two and a half inch to the door, okay? However, I will say a lot of truck mount manufacturers are making the change or adding a two and a half inch port and a two inch port. You get a little reducer here, then you can run four to the door. That's great. Also, don't forget, you can go ahead and get yourself a starter cuff, throw it right on here, or you can run the two inch hose right over top of it. So you see, you can easily get it to work, but if you want to go a little step further, don't forget all different types of cuffs will fit right on there too. So that's really nice to be able to have all the different types of cuffs that will fit right on. So that's why I have them here. So the unit itself is made for all different types of configurations, but if your van needs to go a little step further to do four to the door or two and a half inch to the door, you might have to do a little bit of cutting. So what you basically want to do is get your waste tank lid, locate where the filter is, take a hole saw and drill a hole there. Then you can go ahead and put either a, a two and a half inch port like this, drill it, put this on with a gasket, put this on top of it, and then your two and a half inch hose will go right in there, okay? You can use that as a port. Or you can go to the front of it or the top if you want to and get yourself a reducer cuff along with the PVC pipe, put a gasket in there, put it right in between, right where the filter goes, and now you've got a starter cuff. So now you have a two inch, and the two inch that comes out of your truck mount, you go right to the back of this and you'll have four to the door or you can go two and a half inch to the door. 
So it's made to go ahead and configure, but sometimes you just might have to do a little bit of modification to get a little bit more performance out of your truck. And to me, it's certainly worth it. Okay, let's talk about the filter. The cylinder itself basically has this mesh basket on it, and it's really nice. You can just pull this in and out, piece of cake to use, and it gives you great filtration. However, if you want to take it a step further, because sometimes a little bit of pain to clean out, I have my technicians. We carry these, and these are basically five gallon paint strainers. Throw it in there. I get the elastic ones, put the elastic over the top, boom, just like that. Now, this you got this dirty filter, you pull it off, throw it away, and you're good to go. Okay, don't forget that these filters, hoses, fittings, everything is available inside the tmfshop.net store. And if you want a quick um, access to it, just go down to the description there and we'll have a link for you. You can go right into the store and buy what you need. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, hey, Rob, which one works better? Four to the door or two and a half inch to the door? It's very close. I feel like the four to the door has a little bit of an advantage to it because you don't have to carry and store the extra two and a half inch hose, but it's a little more work to do. So it depends on the hose reel configuration that you have set up. We have dual split reels in our truck mounts, so that way we can run two and a half inch on one side and two inch on the other side. But if you only have two inch, four to the door is probably the way to go for you. Thank you.